Stephen, a very good opener for England really couldn't have gone that much better. It was, it was easy enough for them, wasn't it? Um, Iran didn't really pose much of a threat. England in the forward areas looked so good at times. When, when they really turned the screw, they, they were able to dismantle them and um, were able to create goals at will. And then the, the players are able to bring onto the pitch, like the Grealish Foden, you know, they've just got a, an abundance of attack and quality. So, yeah, comfortable, comfortable game for them. Good performance. Couple of issues defensively. Got question marks about position and stuff like that. Hammer Gore had gone off with, it, with a, an injury. Not too sure what that was, but overall, some some big performances. And Belling was one that you look at and think he, he was excellent. So yeah, a, a great start for him. It's a good boost for them, Liam, because they had been coming into this after their impressive qualifiers slump in form. What, what did you make of them today? Well, it was an easy game. You know, Iran were very disappointing. Although they got a couple of consolation goals towards the end. Um, but in many ways, it kind of highlights what England are all about. Very, very good going forward, as Stephen said. Lots of really good attacking players. Saka was terrific. Uh, got two really good goals. Uh, Harry Kane, he didn't score. And England scores six, and Harry Kane doesn't score. Yeah, I predicted it's very, that he'd, he'd it's meet the very record. unusual. <laughs> it's very unusual. But he played his part, and uh, he, he, he was a provider today. And then. Uh, as we've said, the, the players that they can afford to bring on in, in an attacking sense. But in defence, they have problems. Mm -hmm. You know, Harry Maguire was very poor for the first goal that Taremi scored. John Stones got caught out a couple of times. Eric Dyer, when he came on, he looked like he's lacking a bit in pace. So they're going to face good teams with good attacking players going forward. And perhaps that's going to be their downfall. Mm -hmm. And what about Pickford and goal? He did make a good save there towards the end. He did. He made a very, very good save. But as I said to you before the show, he, uh, he, um, he's capable of making great saves, but he never seems to be calm. He always seems to be agitated. And I don't like that in a goalkeeper. I think it unsettles the defence. So, uh, well, uh, Southgate's not going to change the team going forward after that win, but... They'll play harder teams uh, a, a, along the way, but they should top the group now. The rising stars really shone today, didn't mm. they? And, and, and that's a, a huge positive for England. Yeah, to, to have so many like, top-notch young players, you know, Bellingham 19, Saka 22, I think he is now, Foden comes on. You know, these players have got so much ahead of them, but they're playing at such a high level at this early age in their careers and playing with such confidence. And it's also, they have a maturity about their play from Bellingham, especially midfielder. He dictates play, he drives into the box, he's defensively helping out. Like Declan Rice really had nothing to do today. His job is going to be in those games where he actually really has to protect the back four. Um, and you add him to that as well. So, you know, from, from a standpoint, they've got an exceptional group of young players but like Liam said it's that defensive frailties that you're always going to worry about I'm sure they'd be delighted to have a young centre-back that was coming through that really has grabbed this but a scuff of the neck but at the moment they're relying on those players that and maybe Harry Maguire might actually be a doubt so but for, in the forward areas that they can be exceptional We know how the hype can get cranked up in England mm. will they start to get carried away? I don't know it was Iran at the end of the day and I don't think they really posed a threat the, the two goals they scored you know penalty which if you, if you look at the penalty that England did get in the first half probably shouldn't even have been awarded um, and that was what eight minutes in to extra, at a time at the end of the game so the game probably should be well over by then the goal they did concede from play Maguire switching off so they'll get, they'll get hyped up I think people are wary that's okay as much as he has that attack and talent, will he resort back to defensive midfield players protecting the back four when they go forward into the tournament against better opposition? And that's where the question marks will be. Mm. Lima, I ranked 20th in the world. I know you didn't expect much of them going into this. Were you, were you disappointed in what they brought? Well, look, it, these are the rankings, the world rankings can be deceiving because they're not playing the, the European opposition that England are playing against. So where they operate and the, the games they play against, the international games they play, uh, they're not against very good opposition. So it's misleading that, you know, the fact that they're 20 in the world. Uh, and the same probably would go for the United States. They've got a good record in world rankings as well. But I think they'll probably be a find out in the competition too. Iran were very disappointing. They were very physical. They just sat back. They hoped for a nil-nil. They just couldn't cope with the forward players that England had available.